Hi guys, it's Jessie Rhines, yoga therapist at Evolutions, and I want to read again to you. As one of my students likes to say, it's milk and cookies time. <laughs> we all perhaps remember the experience of being read to by a parent or a teacher or a sibling. Um, I know I do, and it makes me want to curl up and close my eyes. And so perhaps you can find a bit of that. Uh, allowing yourself to be taken care of as you're read to. And then we'll practice a meditation. This is again from Mark Nepo's Book of Awakening. And this happens to be from November 25th. And it's entitled Compassion, but the notes that I wrote next to it are all about self-care. This is why this has appealed to me uh, over the years. He begins with a quote by Lao Tzu. I have just three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, compassion. These are your greatest treasures. Those are important words and they're found throughout the book as an aside. We can study each one of those. He goes on to pull a different quote from Lao Tzu, which is about the last, compassion. Lao Tzu again, compassion towards yourself, you reconcile all beings in the world. Compassion towards yourself, you reconcile all beings in the world. And then Mark Nepo goes on to say, at first we might ask, how can being compassionate to yourself reconcile all beings in the world? To understand the gift of this, we need to recall the analogy of the spoked wheel in which each life is a separate and unique spoke and yet, all lives, like those spokes, meet in a common hub or center. That's why we tend our deepest center. That's why, when we tend our deepest center, we care for all souls. Another powerful way to realize our interconnectedness is to imagine the human family as a stand of aspens growing by a river. Though each tree appears to be growing independently, not attached to the others. Beneath the soil, out of view, the roots of all the trees exist as one enormous root. And so, like these trees, our soul's growth, while appearing to be independent, is intimately connected to the health of those around us. For our spirits are entwined at center, out of view. Once realizing this, it becomes clear that we have no choice but to embrace the health of our neighbors as part of our own health. I know these things to be true. In cutting off strangers, we cut off ourselves. In choking roots, we choke our own growth. In loving strangers, we love ourselves. Having come this far, I believe that Lutz's third instruction tells us that if we are aware of our own suffering with the wish to relieve it, we will overcome distrust and reestablish a close relationship with all other living things. In deep and lasting ways, when we heal ourselves, we heal the world. We heal ourselves.
ourselves. We heal the world. For as the body is only as healthy as its individual cells, the world is only as healthy as its individual souls. I love that. So may we do what we can about the one cell we tend to, you know, the, the one cell we really um, have the most power over. You know. Across the centuries, we have this timeless medicine Live directly, patiently wait, and care for your soul as if it were the whole world. <sighs> so if you think of self-care as selfish, I hope this challenges you to expand your worldview. And if you think of caring for yourself as not enough, it's not enough, I, I can understand that feeling of you know, wanting to do more. Um, may we recognize that caring for ourselves is huge. It is caring for the world. It's more than it looks like on the surface. You know. So I will adapt the meditation that Mark Nepo offers us just a bit. Let's close the eyes and get comfortable. And I'll keep this brief for those of you that prefer brief, for those of you that only have this much time, but I really want to encourage you, if, if this appeals to you or you just wish it were longer, make it longer. Do it on your own. All of the tools I offer are meant to be integrated. And they're just gifts that are being offered to me that I offer to you. You can absolutely work with them on your own and I encourage that. Give the physical body over. Release tension. Ground and rise simultaneously. And at some point notice that your body is breathing You could stay there for as long as you'd like when you practice on your own, right? Feeling into the density of the body. Or that second step, feeling the breath. For now, I'll coach you to move on. As you inhale, can you imagine that your heart is inhaling? As you inhale, can you imagine the heart dilating like an eye? On the exhales, can you feel things coming back together? Again, much like an eye. On the exhales, as you feel things coming back together, can you experience it like a hug? And in particular, I'd like us to stay with the experience of inhales. The exhales are there, of course, it's half of the picture. Every time you exhale, there's a little hug. But for today, I want you to travel into the inhales, into the expansive quality of the inhales because we'll be reaching out beyond the perimeters of our body and beyond the walls of our home. Maybe every time you inhale, maybe every, you know, 10th or 100th time that you inhale as you practice on your own, get a little wider. You 
use it as a method of travel. You might be very visual, literal, thinking of the homes around you and the homes around that, out, 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 out. Or you might have a less concrete sensibility about the work, more symbolic, go with whatever comes. Feel the heart expand and feel your sense of self continuing to open. As you breathe slowly, as you receive oxygen, as you receive nourishment, as you absorb and let that be a form of very mindful self-care, can you also recognize you are caring for the world? You are expanding into that whole grove of trees, nourishing them as well. This is such a beautiful place to stay. And again, I really encourage that. You're welcome to stay here while I sign off. Or to sign off with me, but please do return to this work on your own. It's important that we don't drop any meditation like a hot potato, so stay expansive. If you're choosing to come back out of the work Come back gently, gently, gently. The way that we expanded out is much like what we watch when we throw a stone into a still lake. There's ripples and ripples and ripples. Slow motion. You might envision those concentric rings very slowly coming back to you. Eventually, perhaps, that expresses itself in the two hands coming back to the heart center, thumbs to chest. The head can come up and over and down. If you're coming out with me, if not, again, please stay. If the head is down, honor yourself for having taken this time. Thank you. May you stay connected to self and to all the other selves. May we nourish ourselves and may we recognize that when we nourish ourselves, we nourish the world. We'll let the head slowly come back up and I'll offer my prayer. May this practice be meaningful. May this practice bear fruit and may the fruits of our practice benefit ourselves, our loved ones, each one of those rings out and out and out and out eventually to all beings everywhere. The light in me honors the light in each one of you. Namaste. Thanks so much. And I will see you soon.